Senator Tolentino name drops Isaac Peral, which is also the submarine Spain is offering. Senator Francis Tolentino, the chairperson of the Senate Special Panel on Maritime and Admiralty Zones, recently released a statement to the press wherein he said that the Philippines needs to acquire submarines. He then cited the usual anti-China propaganda lines on why we need such vessels. He also stated that, start quote, the importance of submarines would lie in the ability of submarines to have undetected, reconnaissance, surveillance and strategic deterrence. It would be an advantage to have submarines. They resurface every 80 days, end quote. Tolentino then strangely mentioned Isaac Peral, a Spaniard who lived in the second half of the 1800s and who invented a type of submarine called the Peral submarine. He then said that Peral resided and died in the Philippines. However, while other sources in the Internet like the United States Naval Institute or USNI agree that Peral did reside for a time here in the Philippines, he didn't die here. But he did suffer a minor injury here which later developed into a tumor which resulted in his death while in Germany. Now in an incredible coincidence, the class of submarines that the Spanish company Navancha is offering to sell to the Philippines, the S-80+, Plus, just happens to be named as the Isaac Peral class submarines also because its lead or first vessel with the hull number S-81 is named the Isaac Peral. I already made a video about the S-80 submarine back in August of 2023, and I will provide the link to that video in the description and comment sections. But just to summarize, the S-80 has had a very problematic development resulting in a very long delay between the contract signing and the delivery of the submarine. The contract for them was signed way back in 2003, but it was only 20 years or two decades later when they were finally delivered to the Spanish Navy. The delays were due to funding issues for them, but there were also design problems which is the more serious one as it put some doubt on the soundness of its design. It took 680 million United States or US dollars to fix the problem, and they have had to ask an American defense company to help fix it. Because of these issues, Navancha has had trouble selling the submarine to other countries, and it seems they have had to be more creative when marketing them. For example, they said that if they were chosen, they will make the submarine base in Leyte, which is the home province of the Romualdez family, the relatives of the current president of the Philippines, Bong Bong Marcos or BBM. Anyway, what a surprise indeed. And what a coincidence that Senator Tolentino was talking about getting submarines for the Philippines, and then also mentions the name of a person that also just happens to be the same name as the class of submarines that Spain is offering to us. Just an incredible coincidence, indeed.